Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got my Square Hue unboxing for July. I know it's a little late. I've had it. I just couldn't get to it. I had so many things lined up. And before we get started, I'm going to let you know these, these manicures have been on my fingertips for five days, which is almost a record breaker. So I'm going to get this done, and then I'm going to do some more nail art for you. But anyway, on to the Square Hue. As usual, it came in this cool little box, and it's got the amazing little card. It shows the picture where the colors came from, the inspirations. And this year the theme is the dance collection. And it looks like we've got a sheer high gloss cream, a micro shimmer, and a high gloss cream. So put your little swatch places over here. And as usual, it says, Color your nails, change the world. Thank you for giving trafficked victims a chance at a new life. A portion of your membership is donated and has a direct impact on the fight against human trafficking through the A21 campaign. And I really do stand behind this company. I believe in them. So here is the box. So let's get our cardboard pieces out of the way so we can get to what's important, the polishes. So we're going to start down here on this end, and this one is called Serena, and it is the Sheer High Gloss Cream. So we're going to do our usual swatching and stamp testing on these. And we're going to head on to the next one, and this is Lamina. Get that to focus. There we go. Oh, and it's beautiful. Look at that veining in there. Looks like fire in a bottle. Like it. And the last one in the box is Nortina. And this one is a high gloss cream, and it's this beautiful purple plummy color. Loving it. So let me get my stuff together for some swatches. Oh, and I'll I'll be back, back. And I am ready to do some swatching. And I know this is a, not the bestest um, setup. And this first one is the, um, high, it was, what was it called, Serena, and it's a sheer high gloss cream, so it's going to be a sheer polish, and I think it'll be really pretty for, like, background for nail art. And for it being sheer, it is going on very nice. Look at that. That's one coat. It is very sheer. You can just totally see through it, but it's going on real smooth, so we're liking that. Next, we're going to go to... Lamina. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to roll through and do one coat of each. And then we'll have to see where we need, to, if we need to, how many more coats we need to do. Oh, that's pretty. I'm liking that one. And I will give you close-up shots of these at some point. <laughs> Towards the end, maybe. Maybe after they're all done. And there we go. Oh, that's so pretty. But I'm a sucker for pink and purple polishes, so no surprise there. And that one was Nortina. So there we go. We've got those. I'm going to let these dry for a minute. I'm going to come back and do a second coat, and we're going to see what they I'm like. back. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the second coat. And this first one is Serena. I hope I'm pronouncing them right. You guys know I have trouble with these pronunciations. I am from the South. We have issues down here sometimes. Um, sometimes we pronounce words that are normal, and we just make them our own. So that's um, Serena. And the next one is Lamina. And this one is just really beautiful. Of course, I love a shimmer. I do. And these formulas are just, ugh, I talk about it every month, how amazed I am at the formulas. And I think for the price of the polishes, these are just top notch. The quality is just there. And here we go with the last, last one, which is Nortina. Oh, that just builds up so pretty. I mean, it's dark, but it's still, it's still purple. You know how some of them, they just get so dark, they don't even look their color anymore. 
Okay, so there we have it. Those are gorgeous, and I'm going to get things ready, and we're going to do our swatch testing for uh, stamping. Okay, I'll today right for my stamp testing, I've got my little lint roller set up with some chalkboard tape so that we can see how well they stamp over uh, dark colors and light colors. I'll be using this Go Trendy BM XL354 plate. It was sitting out because it was a recent, um, you know, addition to the family. I'll be using my Born Pretty scraper and my Bundle Monster stamper here. I've got everything all ready. We're going to just get on into it. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do them in the order that I swatched them. I do this light sheer cream. And that is really hard to see on the stamper. And it doesn't really show it very well over either one of them. But again, these are not stamping polishes, so we're not gonna get, you know, stamping polish or stamp polishes that stamp every month. So next we're going to go on to the next one, the shimmer. I'm going to use this image right here. It's just always really nice to find polishes that are regular polishes that will stamp also. Now that one showed up great. And it looks really good over both. Look at that, like an at. Okay, and then the last one, the plummy color, the plummy purple. I'm going to do this one right down here. Try to use full images so that we can get a good idea of how well they do. Oh, that picked up like a dream. <laughs> Let's see about getting this one on here. Okay, now that one shows up excellent over the white, and it shows shows up over the black as well. And I'm sure with top coat it would it would show up a little bit better. But there we go, that's what we have. So I'll okay, right I'm now. back. I am done with the swatching, the stamp testing, and um, here's my final thoughts. For this one being, a sh I'm not really crazy about sheer polishes, but for this one being very sheer, it does really look good on two coats, and I do think you could get it pretty much fully opaque with maybe three coats. But as if you're using it as a base, it would be lovely behind some nail art. And that one is <laughs> Serena. And then the next one, the Shimmer, is Lamina. And I'm in love with this one. These, these two right here are my favorites this month. This one looks like fire in a bottle, and I just love it. And, of course, you know, I'm drawn to the purpley, plummy shades. But I'm really impressed with the box overall. I'm going to use each and every one of them. There's not one that I won't use. And I really do think that I'm going to have a lot of fun with these. So um, come back and check out my channel, because, you know, I'll be doing some nail art with these new polishes. Probably won't be the next video, but very soon I will be doing something with these polishes, at least one or two of them. Um, I try to do that every month. So I will leave a link for Square Hue down below if you would like to go check them out. It is a monthly subscription. You can choose between the three bottle box, which is what I've got, and I believe it's $21 a month, and that, that includes your shipping. Or you can do the two bottle box for 16 and that includes shipping and you get to pick which two you want like say you get the email and you see the pictures and you only want to get these two you can do that or if you want to get these two you can mix and match it any way you want so um, I do not get paid by Square Hue I do not get free boxes from Square Hue I pay for these this is um, really an honest opinion about them because I, I'm not getting any kickback or anything from them so I just want to throw it out there and let you all know what is available out in the nail polish world. I don't find everything, but when I do find something good, I like to share it. And Square Hue has been just phenomenal. I've been with them for about a year and a half, and I really do enjoy their polishes. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you've got this box, and which one's your favorite? So, until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.